if the state of this food shop doesn't accurately reflect the state of my life at the moment, I don't know what does. Hi everyone, it's been a while. I haven't picked up the camera in so many weeks and um, in all honesty, it's just been completely bonkers. I, my, I just feel like life has just run away with me at the moment. I think the combination of the time of year, the new job, which isn't that new anymore. I've been in it a couple of months now, but I think things are starting to get busier with work. And yeah, time of year, things are busy anyway. In December, the kids have lots on and I just feel Dan has lots on. He's working a lot. It's just a lot. And I haven't picked up the camera because I felt like I've got nothing really exciting to show, but actually, do you know what I'm finding at the moment? I'm, I watch a lot of YouTube, I watch that more, that more than television and I'm struggling at the moment to find things that I can relate to because a lot of what I see isn't my current reality of just, I mean there is a, there are people sharing that but a lot of the channels um, that I watch, I don't know, I just feel like maybe I should share these bits because um, that's kind of the kind of thing that I'm enjoying when I do find that content online that is the kind of thing that's really like making me think oh my god it's not just me <laughs> so i just feel unorganized and busy um as you will have seen from the clip i just showed you of my food shopping so it arrived this morning he was early for a start so i wasn't dressed so i could hear him knocking at the door he was 10 minutes early so i just chucked on this which i'll probably now stay in until i try and squeeze in a workout later which is the one thing that keeps me feeling a bit sane and a bit of, like just sorts my head out um so yeah he arrived i chucked on this like which is my oldest sweatshirt went and answered the door carried all the food through to the kitchen and literally just dumped it onto um onto the island in the kitchen the kids are scattered around the food shopping with no clothes on drawing pictures with biros because I can't be bothered to go and get the coloured pencils out of the cupboard. So that is the picture of our Sunday morning at the moment. Um, they've only argued once so far which is refreshing and um, now I guess I'll go and put the food shop away. I'm actually quite liking my hair's tucked into my jumper because I didn't have the time to pull it out of my jumper and actually it's making me think maybe I should cut my hair. Um, a separate point, what was I going to say? Um, nope, it's completely gone. Oh yeah, and I thought I would talk about this now because they're happy and quiet and there's no one in here asking me for snacks. So I will use this opportunity just to update you quickly on stuff because even though it's busy, it's good busy, I'm really... Hang on, I'm going to go and turn the TV off. That's better. Um, Christmas tree is up. We managed to do that. We did that in November because um, I didn't want to wait till this weekend to do it. And also Dan is working this weekend, so yeah, that's already done. Um, what was I saying? Yes, it's good busy. It's I'm really enjoying the job. The work is really interesting. It's um, I feel like it's more it's not stressful. Stressful is the wrong word. Um, full on at the moment because um, you know you have when you start a new job, the first couple of months you're kind of finding your feet and you're doing stuff, and then it gets like the, the real sort of um, routine of work starts to pick up and I think that's where I am at now. I've been there a couple of months and now it's just about really finding my feet and just cracking on with it. So it's really good, I'm enjoying it, but it is busy and the juggle with school runs and after school clubs and keeping on top of homework and appointments and the other activities that we have at this time of year has just felt like a lot. So I'm looking forward to um, some time off over Christmas and I think we're all just feeling a little bit exhausted at the end of the term. So yeah, that would be nice to have a couple of a couple of days off over Christmas. So I've actually got a full week or just over a week. I've got the time off between Christmas and New Year, except New Year's Eve. Um, but I'm fine. I don't mind working New Year's Eve. We won't, we'll just be doing something in the house. We won't be going anywhere. So that is our plan over christmas dan will have some time off as well which would be lovely and i think we all really need it to just chill not do much at all i've got a couple of festive stuff for the kids booked before in the run-up to christmas which will be nice um but where is the time going how are you all doing 
are you all prepared for Christmas let me know in the comments because um, I really wanted to be done by now with everything and um, a bit more ahead of myself and I'm not far off but I'm certainly not done yet and um, let me know if you're not either because I think that might make me feel a bit better I won't do a proper grocery haul because I can't say that there's much different in there to what I always buy <clears throat> and I've done plenty of grocery haul videos over the years um, the last couple of weeks actually I've been making a real effort to go to Aldi and do my shop because it's so it just saves me so much money but um, I just couldn't face it this weekend Marnie's been a bit feisty um, I just couldn't bear the idea of taking her to Aldi on a Sunday morning or Saturday morning and just dealing with that usually to be fair she's good as gold and she just likes to sit in the trolley and help um, but yeah, this, she's been a bit bit feisty this weekend, so I just thought, oh, I'm just gonna like plan my meals so I don't overspend and do a Tesco shop and have it delivered just to make my life a bit easier this week. So that is what I've done, but there's nothing groundbreaking or exciting in my food shop. It is literally five meals that I could think of off the top of my head at about 11 o'clock last night. I did go out with a friend for a drink last night actually which was really nice and um, it was just nice to talk to her about the juggle and stuff and how she handles it all and yeah it's it just is comforting when you know that you're not the only one feeling a bit overwhelmed sometimes um, but I will show you some of the stuff I got from Tasco if you want to see it thrilling exciting content let's go so here's Aiden <laughs> I'm using a bag of Cheetos to cover the fact that you've got no clothes on. Aiden's doing some colouring and drawing. Um, oh, I can't, there's nothing here exciting to show you, is there? It's just a big old mess. But, um, oh yes, Aiden has drawn Venom. Do you want to show that? There's Aiden's drawing of Venom, which is terrifying. An absolute shed load of cereal because my guys just go through cereal like nothing I've ever seen before in my life. Um, Cheetos. What am I doing? No, you all do. This is ridiculous. I used to lay out all my food shops so neatly and now look at the state of this. Basically, what I'm making this week is, <laughs> this is hilarious. I can't believe what a mess this is. So I've got um, chicken, I'm making chicken fajitas. Today I'm making a chicken pie, hence the puff pastry. What else am I making this week, Aiden? Uh -huh. yeah, I don't know. Um, somewhere in here, oh here it is, I am going to make a gnocchi mac and cheese with, so I've got two bags, I do one half with um, little bacon bits like pancetta for the kids and apart from Dylan who doesn't eat pork so he has to just have plain gnocchi mac and cheese and then for Dan and I, I put in a tin of sweet corn and some jalapenos and it is the best flavour combination in mac and cheese that I have yet to try. So um, sometimes we do regular macaroni, other times with gnocchi, um, we do gnocchi this week just for a change. Oh, sometimes with the kids one as well. Oh, look, it looks like I've all laid this out professionally and properly, but I haven't at all. It just happens to be in the right space. Sometimes I put spinach in because all of them don't mind spinach and it's just a bit of extra veg. What else am I making this week? What else is in front of me in this pile of... Chaos. I'm not making chilli this week, no, I am making fajitas, which I think oh, I said. Where's the fajita kit? Here it is, as if I'd planned it perfectly. Chicken fajitas will be one of the other meals. Um, the leeks are for the chicken pie. Oh, rice. That is for chicken katsu curry. Dan makes a brilliant katsu curry sauce. He's like got it down to a fine art. We already have some chicken, breaded chicken steaks, so we're cheating a bit, we don't do our own. Um, I just use breaded chicken. Um, and then we've got all the stuff for the sauce in the cupboards. It's like coconut milk, chicken stock, uh, curry powder, an onion. What else goes in it? Sugar, soy sauce. And I think that's it. I'll link the recipe anyway because it's the closest one to the Wagamama version that I've ever tried and Dan does it really, really well. 
And then, what else am I going to make this week? I've also got eggs to do omelettes. I've got a big bag. These are for the kids to have with sausages one night when Dan and I have something that maybe they won't like. Aiden, you're repeating everything I say. And then, there's the eggs for the omelette. I've also got a load of apples, raisins, Cheetos, broccoli, lots of yogurts because Marnie eats like six of them a day or something ridiculous. Baby bells for Marion in her lunchbox. Biscuits. Baby bells. Baby bells. The cheeses that Marion likes. Mini pepperamis. I like cheese. baby bells. You like baby bells. You don't like these. What do they have in? They're cheese. Do you want to um, try one? You tried one before and you didn't like it, but maybe you'd like it now. Do you want to give it a go? After when it's food time. After when it's food time, okay. What's in here? Excitement levels are high. Oh, I know what this is for. That's the other meal with the rice. I'm going to make, um, oh, what's the word? Teriyaki chicken with sesame seeds and spring onions on top, like sticky rice. Um, and I think that's five meals. If it's not, I will be running to the shop midway through the week. This is the kind of thing Dan does. I've got this shelf, which I like to keep looking nice. Dan puts hair wax on it. Anyone else have a husband who does stuff like that? It's very clever, using an elastic band to make the dummy stay. Yeah. Clever girl. What's happening here? Your baby's all having a snack. Yeah, that camping. Oh. 